Some modern bathroom scales do not just show your mass, they also show how much body fat you have. They pass a small electric current through your body. This flows through fat with difficulty, but more easily through body fluids containing dissolved salts, so the proportion of body fat can be estimated. Sodium chloride, magnesium oxide and other ionic substances do not conduct electricity when they are solid. However, they do conduct electricity when they're molten, heated until they turn into a liquid. This is why aluminium can be extracted from molten aluminium oxide by electrolysis. Ionic substances also conduct electricity when they are in aqueous solution, as in dissolved in water. This is why seawater will conduct electricity. Two conditions must be met for a substance to conduct electricity. It must contain charged particles and these particles must be free to move. Ionic substances contain charged particles, ions, but these are only free to move from place to place when the ionic compound is molten or in aqueous solution. In the solid form, the ions are held in fixed positions, forming a lattice structure in which they can only vibrate. The melting point of a substance is the temperature at which it changes from a solid to a liquid. Its boiling point is the temperature at which it changes from a liquid to a gas at its fastest possible rate. Ionic substances have high melting points. They also have high boiling points. This means that they are usually solids at room temperature. Ionic bonds are strong. Energy is needed to break an ionic bond and there are very many of them in an ionic compound. This is why ionic compounds have high melting points and boiling points.